I wanted to re-edit this video with a new voiceover as the original version involved me mumbling foolishly to the camera. Preparation it seems, as with cooking and making in general, is an important oversight and just as applicable to voiceovers. I was given an old workshop extractor which came without a filter. The original would have used a bag and I had fashioned one from an old bath towel which was not filtering to a decent standard. After emptying the drum and removing the old inlet, I went about attaching a soil pipe which I had cut to fit upon the outer edge of the drum. To create the inlet's shape, I cut the profile of the drum from MDF, screwed this onto the soil pipe and used a bandsaw to follow the line. You could do this with a coping saw as well. I did not have a bandsaw while making this video and had to do this in another workshop. Newer shop vacs use a method of creating vortexes by offsetting the inlet, helping avoid directly blasting the filter with sawdust. I wanted to try recreate this. Using a scrap piece of metal, which I'll use to reposition the hole, I traced the shape of the inlet, cut it with the jigsaw, including the drum itself, and attached it using several bolts on either side. I then used contact adhesive to join the inlet to the new rim of the opening and then hot glue to seal any gaps. The fit was not perfect but a combination of the two made for a strong gap free seal. The saw pipe then needed a step down adapter to fit the hose. I padded the gap using draft excluder which produced a snug fit however some tool stores do supply saw pipe adapters. I made a custom HEPA filter by dismantling a shop bought one and attaching it to an MDF ring and disc. At the time of filming I had the chance to cut these out on the CNC router which would have looked a little like this now that I have one. These rings are a little larger and for a new extractor I'm currently building from a piece of large galvanised air ducting I salvaged from a skip. The CNC machine both cut the shapes and rebated the space for the filter to be glued. However, it is possible to achieve this using a hand router or even a jigsaw. The original filter bag for the vac would have probably only reached one micron filtration, but this HEPA certified filter can remove up to 0.3 micron particles. I would also recommend using gloves if handling a HEPA filter, as they are composed of fiberglass which is a skin irritant. After removing the rubber gasket, I used cardboard jigs to hold the filter in position and contact adhesive to glue them together. Hot glue created a more permanent seal, however you can use expandable polyurethane glue. In addition to the HEPA, I bought a chip extractor filtration bag, which are normally made from non-woven polyester, to add an additional protective layer and increase the working life of the HEPA filter. In the original video I also attached a small inlet, however I never used this and it was pointless. The final modification involves several holes being drilled into the bottom end of the drum and a small piece of clear plastic glued within using contact adhesive. This allows me to monitor the capacity of the bin without lifting the lid.